Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for your life to turn around? Are you ready for things to happen to bring you great success, to see your dreams and visions come to pass? Then you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast. Welcome. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave us a good review. Also, let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show. Get on the Julie Tussie train. We're going somewhere, baby. Pop the glam pain. It's time for the Julie Tussie Show live guest, current events, scathing exposés. The original suburban bombshell, the big blonde baby. Giving you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. And now, here's Julie Tussie. Hey, thank you so much for joining me here on the Julie Tussie Show. I am still in party mode woot, woot, because this is episode 202. We hit 200 episodes. I'm just so, so surprised by that. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a really cool subject that I stumbled across online, and it's called, I'm calling it the top 30 products that are more valuable than ever right now due to the coronavirus. You know, we have to see the cup half full and not half empty. I know some of us have lost loved ones and I would never belittle the seriousness of that and the grief and the things that go through that we go through over that and I'm I'm so sorry, but we do we do have to go forward and going forward I think sometimes it's a lot about our attitude. We could get really down about what's going on around us or we can start lightening up a little bit and hoping for the best. Now, we are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, I believe. I've been five weeks in quarantine, maybe a little bit longer because I started a little earlier. We have a baby, a grandbaby in the family that lives right next door. And so I wanted to be extra, extra careful with her. So I've been doing this a a little while. I'm sure that many of you listening have been doing the same thing, but I want you to know you're not alone. We're all in this together, right? And we're starting to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel as I record this. It is February the 23rd. I'm, I'm sorry, February. Oh my gosh. You know, I have lost... I feel like I have lost these months because I went into quarantine shortly after February. (laughs) Anyway, it's April. It's April the 23rd, 2020. And we're beginning to see that the governors are shuffling to get a plan. They're kind of watching the bigger cities. The smaller ones are watching the bigger cities to see what happens when people go out. I put up a post on Facebook that I thought was pretty funny. If you don't follow me there, go and find the Julie Tussie Show and the Grace Girls and Company uh, podcast has pages over there. You can find me on Instagram. But the post said, when everybody's released to go back to work, I'm staying home for two more weeks just to see what happens to you all. (laughs) I kind of feel like that. I kind of feel like that. I don't have to go out a lot. I just choose it. But I did post this week how much I am missing my friends and family and I'm missing my life. You know, I miss going into the stores and shopping, having that shopping therapy and seeing what's new. And I miss hugging my friends and my family and seeing my girls and I just miss it. And so I'm, I'm here with you, my sisters and brothers. And so let's just continue to hashtag stay strong. That's what I put after I said how much I was missing everybody. Hashtag stay strong. I'm trying to stay strong. I'm going to encourage you to stay strong together with me and let's get through this thing. So today I'm going to talk about that top 30, but real quick, I wanted to give you an update. I told you on the episode 200 that I had been diagnosed with low thyroid. We all know I'm the diet queen, man. I know what to do. It's funny. If I tell people what to do, they lose weight and get skinny. But when I do it, 
I'm not very good at doing it very long because I get mad because I don't lose weight fast enough, blah, 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 right? So I'm still maintaining some loss, but I had lost um, 24 pounds. They decided I had low thyroid, put me on Levoxathorin. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me, so I don't know what it was. It was probably generic for Synthroid. And they put me on that, and for four or five months, I was on that and gained 12 12 pounds, my people. Yes, I was mad. And, uh, you know, on top of that, at the very first, it gave me a little energy. But other than that, I felt like I was bloated and ugh, I just felt horrible. I didn't feel good and it, it didn't really do a whole lot for me. So um, I went off of it. I weaned myself off of it slowly and talked to my doctor about it. And she decided I don't need anything right now. She's like, just stay off of it. You probably didn't need it. So I'm going a step further. I will announce this when it happens, but I am going to be working with a holistic doctor and their team. I'm going to find out if I really need thyroid medicine. I'm going to do some extensive testing with them, and I'm probably going to embrace a pretty healthy whole food diet through this. But I want to see what happens if I actually make this change in my life and stop living on Uh, nachos for lunch (laughs) you know what I mean I used to be a big Weight Watchers girl still believe in it I still believe basically any diet you do is going to make you lose weight but it's finding the one that makes you um, live makes it livable for you makes it where it's something you can do the rest of your life so I like Weight Watchers because of that but then again I don't always make the healthiest choices on Weight Watchers like I would like to so we'll see We'll see. My life is an open book. My life is see-through and visible. (laughs) I just share everything with you. So right now, I I went through about two weeks after going off the thyroid medicine of being really tired. But right now, I'm doing good, except when I stay up late. And this quarantine has me where I'm just, I'm telling you people, I can't go to sleep at night. I can't go to bed. I would rather watch TV till the wee-wee hours. And then sleep in, but this internal clock from getting kids up for school for 400 years wakes me up every morning at 6 o'clock. Thank you very much. So, (laughs) I'll let you know. Let's get to this really cool list. I'll tell you what. Let me see the time. We're going to take a short break, and then I'm going to come back and tell you about this amazing list. Hi, it's Julie Tussie. I want to remind you to go to the JulieTussieShow.com and join the mailing list. Also, see all the fabulous cooking you want to see on YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash T M E T V. I'm here to empower you to fix what's broken in your life. Honey, you were not created to be ordinary, but you were created to be extraordinary. You were not created to be common, but you were created to be uncommon. You were not created to be average, but to be above average. I mean, you are remarkable. You are noteworthy. You are impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. Now, isn't that amazing? How many people tell you that? Only on the Julie Tussie Show. If you want to give to support this podcast and help keep us on the air, go to Venmo and look for The Voice, Inc. The Voice, Inc. All gifts are tax deductible. And now, back to the Julie Tussie Show. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. You know what? I produced this whole show myself, so if you love it, thank you. And if you hate it, it's my fault. (laughs) But I want to get great information to you and want to include a little comedy here and there. So we'll be doing some more fun things. I've got some things lined up I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Do let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show and subscribe. And you know when you leave a review on iTunes and places that you can, it really helps us with our sponsorship and our... um, all the things that we get to do it gets doors open for us because of it. So, the top 30 products more valuable than ever due to the coronavirus. All right, number 1, I'm I'm actually going to cluster so there's more than 30 exact items, but number 1 was sanitizing items, bleach, hand sanitizer, Lysol wipes, alcohol and Lysol spray, those kinds of things. To me, 
that and toilet paper were number one, but this list is not in order by any means. It's just a, it's just a list. But I think that we could just tell that because we can't get our hands on them. I'm telling you, me and Steph have had to go to the store and before we go, we're like, dear Lord Jesus, you know we need sanitizing wipes, Jesus. And you know we need toilet paper. So please, Lord, and we're serious though, please, Lord, supply, you know, supply our need, help us find them. We're going to find them. So we go to Meyer, and we happen to turn down an aisle and as we turn down the aisle, one case of Lysol wipes. Oh, heavenly, heavenly Lysol wipes shows up and we buy them. And it's just been like that. Like we just had to really walk by faith and believe God to get these things. So one of the most valuable things right now, more valuable than ever, is bleach, hand sanitizer, Lysol wipes, alcohol, Lysol spray. Number two. Fresh produce. I'm so glad to see this. I was so glad to see this on the list. Fresh produce. People are out trying to get some fresh fruits and veggies. And I'm so glad. Fruit, fruits and veggies. <laughs> veggies. Could that be fruit and veggies mixed? Veggies. Um, number three. This is a big one, y'all. This is a big one. Chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, we could have an applause right here. Chocolate, my people. When people get stressed, they reach for the junk and chocolate. Thank God I have 70% cocoa chocolate candy bars in my house. Thank God, or who knows what could happen to me. (laughs) And you. (laughs) Number four, ice cream. Yeah, I can see this. People are turning to comfort foods. My husband asked me to go buy ice cream. So I've had ice cream twice in the last month, and I never eat ice cream. Um, number five, pastries and donuts. Of course, of course, um, Krispy Kreme's raking it in right now. Who doesn't love a Krispy Kreme donut? Next up is kumbacha. If I'm saying that wrong, send it to me how to say it. But I guess it's a, it's some kind of a product that people believe is like almost a cure-all. And doctors believe there's not enough scientific proof, so be careful with it. Some people have gotten sick. Some use it as a pre- or probiotic. So whatever, whatever, right? But just be careful with that one until you research it yourself. Number seven is potato chips. Yes! Who doesn't love those? (laughs) I don't know if you are, but I am a potato chip girl from way back. I just love them with a sandwich. It's something I really, it's a trigger food for me. I really have to watch what I'm doing. Number eight is milk. Especially organic milk has seen a rise. I think it might be not just because it's organic, but I think that it might be because all the milk is gone. And so people buy what else is there. Uh, that's that's what I think. But yeah, milk is a comfort food. It's a great thing to have in the house for the kids. It's good for them. You know what I'm saying? It's good for them. Number nine, rotisserie chicken. I can see this. Easy, easy peasy. Easy to make meals out of, so real easy. Number 10, eggs. I love eggs. I don't I don't know. They've been good for me and bad for me and good for me and bad for me all my life. I finally decided, you know what? I'm over 30 and I like eggs. I'm going to eat them. So I do. They're really, really good for your body. Good for source of protein. Uh, the the uh, cholesterol thing they're now saying is moot a moot point. Number 11, pretzels. Again, one of those salty snacks for quarantine because what are people doing? They're watching TV. (laughs) They're on Facebook. They're sitting around. They get the munchies. Number 12 is popcorn, another salty snack. Number 13 is, is fresh chicken breast and fresh chicken. Easy to cook, easy to put on the grill. Very, very versatile. Number 14, this one surprised me. Antibiotic creams. Antibiotic creams or is anti- Anti is how I say it. I don't know. The Southern thing. Okay, y'all. The Southern thing gets on me, right? It's like you have to like try to keep it off of you. Y'all know I'm from Michigan. I'm like from the center of the state of Michigan. And I come down here and I I talk like this and I say antibiotics. But no, it's antibiotic cream. Can you believe that? That's 
I guess it makes sense to me because if you get a cut or something, you don't want to end up in the hospital or the ER over it where you might get the coronavirus. So it makes sense to me. Vitamins, here's another one that makes a lot of sense to me. People are trying to um, take their health and in get control of it and get healthier so that they have more resistance to the coronavirus. Number 16, not a big surprise, but a huge, huge need, bottled water. And at 17 on my list of 30 top items that are more valuable than ever due to the coronavirus, canned soups. Yes, it's kind of been a cold spring, hasn't it? So I can see this going on. Now, Gary Tussie, he won't, once it gets warm out, he won't eat soup. So I have to make soup just for myself. So sometimes canned soups are good, but they're good to have on hand in case you have a shortage of fresh produce and things to make homemade. Number 18 is dish soap. I'm telling you, I had to go on a search to get some dish soap. (laughs) It's funny. It's funny what becomes valuable to you during a time of crisis. Number 19, canned tuna. Goes without saying, tuna sandwiches, honey. Tuna sandwiches. Number 20, canned black beans. Now, I love these. They're three times cheaper than chicken or any meat and loaded with fiber, folate, and potassium. They're so good for you. So they're so healthy and they're inexpensive. And you can actually mash them and sneak them into brownie recipes. Just Google that or go on Pinterest and find a recipe. Really, really good. Number 21. I titled this Personal Needs, Paper Towels, Tissues, Toilet Paper, and Wipes. Yep, we all need them. We all want them. We don't always all have them, but a lot of people have a whole bunch of them. (laughs) That's for sure. Number 22, chickpeas, another excellent source of protein and fiber, and you can make hummus out of it in your food processor. Number 23, cold and flu remedies. You know, I was kind of surprised when I first saw this, but then I realized... You know, we're not getting as much flu probably right now, but the flu is much more prevalent than the coronavirus, like 118,000 cases in the first three months, I think is what I read. Don't quote me on that, but it was like this huge amount. So it makes sense to me that people would buy cold and flu remedies. Number 24, first aid kits. Yep, get the Band-Aids and the antibiotic cream right there. Number 25, rice. Rice is incredibly inexpensive and versatile, so I can see this. You could actually live on rice for a long time. Number 26 was bath and shower soap. I'm sure we can put shampoo and conditioner in there, too. Number 27 on my list is hydrogen peroxide. I guess the disinfecting of wounds, but I think some people, some women, namely, are trying to bleach their hair with it. I don't blame them. I'd try it, too, if I wasn't a hairdresser and my daughter wasn't a hairdresser. So I've done pretty well through it because we live next to each other, so we're not, we're quarantined together. That works out really nice, really nice for me. Number 28 is dried beans. Number 29 is alcohol, rubbing alcohol, which I kind of threw in the front. But I wanted to tell you that I've not been able to find a bottle of alcohol since this started. Have you? Have you? I have not. So I'm missing alcohol. I went to cosmetology school many years ago, and they taught us to put it in a spray bottle and use it as a hand sanitizer and as a, a instruments, you know, scissors, combs, sanitizer. So we do. Number 30 was thermometers. This one kind of surprised me at first, but after I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? You're right, because what do they tell us if we have all these symptoms but no fever, you know, might not be. So watch for a fever. So I'm sure everybody's watching for a fever. And I wanted to throw in a bonus for you. Yes. One of my top things I have been trying to find and I think is selling like crazy is press on nails, kiss or lees or whatever you can find out there. Press on nails. I'm wearing them right now, honey. I'm rocking this quarantine. Well, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying strong. Hashtag stay strong. You know, our lives have been turned upside down, but if we just trust in our God, it will get around back the way it should be. I think that we are going to see some permanent changes through all of this, and I think that we are going to see some improvements, actually, from it. Um, I'm getting ready. I'm doing research on a podcast about that because there are some things that are going to change, and I think they're going to be pleasant changes. But just remember one thing. 
It's not going to last forever. This has come to pass. It's going to pass. It's going to pass. We're beginning to see a light at the end of the tunnel. So please stay safe and stay healthy while you're out there. And remember, you only get one life. Live it to the fullest. After a week of hearing hundreds of I can'ts, I'm here today to tell you, you can. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash the Julie Tussie Show and Instagram the Julie Tussie Show, home of the original Suburban Bombshell. I want to take a minute to say thank you so much to our supporters, underwriters, sponsors, those of you that give to our nonprofit corporation, The Voice Incorporated. If you'd like to give today, you can go to the com and give by PayPal and the Cash App. You can also find us on Venmo, The Voice INC. Thank you so much for your kind consideration. And remember, all gifts are tax deductible. Only on the Julie Tussie Show are you going to hear that you are not created to be ordinary but extraordinary. You are not created to be common but uncommon. You are not created to be average but above average. You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. Visit the com. Lots of fabulous shopping, beautiful things that you might want to get as a gift or for yourself. You can also reach out to me and communicate with me there. The com. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce. We'll be right back.